morning, everybody. Uh, before I start, I'd just like to thank the PFA uh, for their kind invitation to uh, share some insights with you this morning. Um, I'd like to start with a short video.
Don't you just love technology? I never, it never tires me to see that presentation. I, and I can tell you I've seen it quite a number of times. But it always reminds me of two things. The first thing is that the world is changing and it's changing rapidly. And for business owners to really take advantage of that change, they need to be aware of what's happening with consumers because consumers are the heart of your organisation. And the second thing that reminds me is the world's becoming a very small place. As, as technology brings the world together and brings it together much, closer, much more closely, it gives us more opportunities to export brands from the Philippines to other markets as we learn from the previous speaker of, of all the brands that are coming into the Philippines. We don't want to make it a one-way street. So what I'd like to talk to you about today is some learnings that we at Nielsen have been observing over the past couple of years and some trends looking into the future. There's been a lot of talk about the growing middle class and I want to share with you some figures around that. We've been observing some very fundamental change in shopper behaviour. I want to touch on the digital consumer and how they're now becoming always connected. I want to talk about what is particularly a Filipino phenomenon, which is the BPO consumer. And are they really different to other consumers? And if they are, are you aware that, of the differences and are you taking advantage of these differences? And I want to talk to you about a new concept called premiumisation um, that we're, we're starting to observe in um, developing markets that are further down the track than some of the Asian markets. These markets like China and India are much further down the track and I, I want to share with you some insights into that. So over the past decade, um, as you can see by this chart, the middle class represents the most exciting growth at 5.4%. And this growth in middle income consumers is, is fueling the growth that we're seeing in, in, in economies today. These consumers are more affluent, they're more discerning, they've got more discretionary spend. They're the consumers that are going to be the lifeblood of your businesses t tomorrow and, in, and beyond. The Asian tigers, they're coming. If you have a look at this, this data here, you can see that in China, in the, first, in the eight years up until 2010, the middle class was growing at about 111%. Our forecast for the next eight years is to see that growth only, and when I say only, only at 50%. Whereas if you look at Southeast Asia, the last eight years, the middle class has only grown at 30%. But our forecast for the next eight years is the middle class in, in Southeast Asia is going to grow at a rapid rate of 103%. India is still going to continue to grow at the same rate it has over the last eight years. And if you look at the other couple of developing markets in South Africa and Brazil, very small growth. So Southeast Asia is the place to be. Southeast Asia is where we're going to see a lot of this new middle class, a lot of this new affluency. And these consumers buy different types of products. These consumers who are coming into affluency for the first time look to buy products that display this level of affluency. These people buy smartphones, flat screen TVs, they travel. For some of these consumers, they're jumping on aeroplanes for the very first time. They're travelling around the Philippines, but they're also travelling overseas. This is a new market. This is a new consumer. You need to be aware of what these consumers are looking for and how to meet these consumers' needs. If we look at breaking down Southeast Asia, look at the Philippines. The Philippines, our forecast for the next eight years is for the middle class in the Philippines to grow at a rapid rate of 72%. Second only to Indonesia. This is new wealth for the Philippines. This is what's going to drive the new store openings, the increased revenue that your, your franchise outlets can generate. These Filipinos are moving into better paying jobs. These Filipinos are taking advantage of the BPO industry that's growing. These Filipinos are taking advantage of the OFW remittances that are coming back into the country. And as I said earlier, these, these Filipinos are more likely to start buying products that display this level of affluency. Why? Because when you, when, when, we've seen this in other markets that when you move into this